there certainly have been more eventful beginnings to years in RuneScape past, as we come to a close in January with another patch week. Here's hoping that February sees a kickoff in updates. Anyways, before we jump into the patch notes, just quickly want to remind you that Frank's free chest is coming to a close. You got two more days to earn keys before the grand opening on Wednesday. Once it's open, visit Frank in Port Sarum to turn those keys into rewards. You can claim your goodies anytime from February 1st to the 28th. After that, Frank will be packing up any unclaimed bounty and you will lose out on your potential rewards. Aside from that, there's a live stream this Wednesday, February 1st, 17 game time, where Mod Jack will chat about design in RuneScape, going in depth to the decisions that drive the game. So if you're looking forward to that Wednesday on the 1st, 17 game time. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video so far, do hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet and you'd like to stay up to date on all things risky related, then hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Now let's take a look at those patch notes and see what they've changed with today's update. Taking a look at the death update, the Ring of Death's cooldown is no longer removed during certain boss phase changes. The Ring of Death effect now correctly applies to an insta-kill mechanic. Based on player feedback, the community has said that damage mitigation effects combined with healing abilities make the Ring of Death effect too easy easy to survive, trivializing many insta-kill mechanics. Insta-kills themselves are also confusing, as they have multiple forms of the same visual effect. These are now defined differently. Full insta-kills, no signs or ring of death allowed. This will display the skull with the insta-kill text. A soft insta-kill allows sign and ring of death and will display only the skull without the text. And finally you have high damage, which deals a lot of damage but isn't technically an insta-kill. The starting damage value will be 20% of the killing blow within the range of 150 to 2000. A soft insta-kill will automatically start at 2000, so you can survive the mechanic, but it will still be tough to survive long enough for the kill. The timer will now last until either you die or return to a safe area, allowing high level players to survive longer, but not indefinitely. Following these changes, the sign will now take priority over the ring of death and be the first to activate. Moving on to some general changes, returning players stuck in limbo on the roof of Berthorpe Castle should now continue to the Berthorpe transition cutscene. Noted molten glass can now be used to craft teleport spheres in Odak's teleportation laboratory. Corrected punctuation on the message that displays after buying multiple treasure hunter keys with oddments. The aura interface no longer shows auras you don't own in the list of favorites. And finally implemented an animation fix for the portable workbench. They should no longer float after expiring. And that is it for your patch notes. Links to everything discussed in this video will be down in the description below. If you missed last week's patch video, it will be on screen now for you to peruse. And with that, I am out. I will see you next week with the update. That'll kick off February. Looking forward to it. See you soon. Aloha.